Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. So uh, what we're doing today is we are going to prepare to start planting sunflowers in the flower farm. Um, so what we're doing is we're taking all of the sunflowers that sausages purchased here, all the seeds, and uh, we're just kind of visualizing the size of the seeds and we're putting them into containers. Now there's what, probably you got what, 10 different varieties of sunflowers at least here? At least probably 10 to 15. So what we found out works best is for a colorful arrangement, we, we mix them up and then we just plant them. And that way when they grow, we have multiple colors and multiple sizes through the rows. Plus, we also plant just an area of all the same. So, uh, but for the boundary lines, we like them to be colorful and we like them to be all different. You're a little low. There you go. So there's some seeds right there. Now she's going to put them into the container that uh, is about the same size, which it's, yeah, right there. So what we're also going to do is we're also going to be trying out a new planter. Um, our friend Edward Schultz builds these planters. They are two row John Deere planters. Uh, they use John Deere 7000 Maxi Merge row units, and uh, this is set up to go on a three-point hitch of a small tractor. So what we're going to do is we're going to put it on the 2940, because that's the most convenient tractor we have to use it with. But you could really put it on any size, probably I'd say around 50 horse size tractor uh, with three-point hitch. So those are tiny. Those are really tiny. So uh, we planted these last year with great success with finger pickups with the 12 row 7,000, but this year we're gonna use Edwards two row that he was nice enough to let us use and demonstrate and make a video with. Um, he sells these planters. Uh, I will get you all of his information and uh, you can purchase one of these planters if you like. In fact, you can buy the one that we're gonna be using in the video today. So uh, she's gonna finish dumping these in the right uh, container. And then uh, we're going to head out, we're going to get the uh, planter hooked up to the 2940, and we'll do some planting some sunflowers this afternoon. So something else I'm going to add is this is a succession planting. So that means that we're going to plant some now, and then we're going to plant some a little later, maybe two weeks later. That way we have more blooming flowers and more blooming flowers to cut. So we don't, they all don't just come in all at once. Am I right? Yes. Yes. So this will this will scatter them through the season a little bit is what I'm trying to say. I think we can combine those. Yeah, we can probably combine those. Sausage knows everything about this flower stuff. I just try to help where I can. So it gets there's a lot of terminology that goes with it that I don't uh, know off of hand. Like she can pop these questions out left and right. I can't. So another cool thing that came today is uh, all of our fittings for our poly drip tube irrigation. So uh, this is our orchard water line that uh, will feed them. And this is just an example I put together. But uh, this is one of the valves and this is a piece of drip tape. The drip tape is already out there underneath the uh, plastic mulch. We just need to plumb all this up to each one. And uh, we'll do a whole video on that, whole nother video. So there's some of our sunflower seeds ready to go. So now I think we can go out back and get the uh, planter hooked up and uh, we'll go do some planting. That's probably about 8,000 seeds. There's 8,000 seeds there. Probably. So let's go get that planter hooked up. Okay, so we got the planter here in the shop and uh, one nice feature it has is uh, it will work on either category one or category two three point inch tractors. So for the 2940, we need it set for category two. So to do that, all we simply have to do, take this nut off, flip this pin around, put the nut back on on the inside here, like Dad Strength's doing over there, and we'll be ready to hook it up to our tractor. So once we get it hooked up, we'll do a quick walk around of the planter and how it works. So we got the planter hooked up. So a few things I wanna go over on this planter is it does use the same transmission as a big 7,000 John Deere corn planter. It's all right there, easy to get to, easy to change your populations. Just change your uh, chains to your different sprockets for your desired population. There is a chart in here. Uh, there's the 
uh, label for the routings of the chains and the sprockets and everything. It's all right there. This planter does have uh, liquid fertilizer capability, which we're not going to run fertilizer today. But uh, this is the connection for the electric pump. The electric pump sits inside the square tube right there. It's very well protected. What's really cool is when the planter sits down, it triggers this switch right here and turns the electric pump on, which puts the uh, fertilizer through the disc openers right here. So we'll come to this side. And on this side, it's got a nice toolbox. So you can put uh, all your extra wiring and everything for your pump and any tools that you might need. Behind this door, you have uh, your fertilizer chart. It's all right here. And under here, you have a pressure control knob to adjust your pressure to uh, meet your requirements on your chart. So very well thought out, very nice setup. He done a really good job with this thing. Everything, uh, as I understand, is all rebuilt, all new bearings in the uh, gauge wheels, closing wheels. Um, it's got new disc openers on the seed, on the row units, all new chains. Uh, it's got brand new down pressure springs on it. So this planter is ready to go. This, If somebody bought this one, it would last them a very long time. The uh, adjustment for the seed drive is very simple. On the big planters, there's a hydraulic cylinder here that raises and lowers the planter. But on this, he uh, made this nice adjustment here and you adjust that to make your uh, tire contact the ground in order to drive the seed on the planter. So let's take this out and uh, we're gonna set it for sunflowers and we'll take it out and we'll do some planting with it. Okay, so while they uh, set the population on the planter for the sunflowers, I will go through some information on the planter that uh, Edward wrote down for me. Uh, his name is Edward Schultz, and his phone number is 574-806-0587. So uh, contact him. He does text. He does have Facebook also. So um, contact him for uh, buying one of these planters. I'm just doing a video demonstrating it. Uh, of course, it says call for pricing. I don't know what the price is actually on this planter. Uh, it's a John Deere 7000 two-row, category one or two, liquid fertilizer, factory transmission, Yetter fertilizer openers, precision planting corn meters. I forgot to mention that there, precision meters. Uh, it's got new scrapers, new chains, all of them, new uh, chain rollers, new transmission bearings, and all new down pressure springs as we've seen so it's a it's a very well set up planter so okay they've got the population set we're going to take it out to the field and uh, we're going to try it out so here's where we're going to be planting we're going to plant this border here to these sunflower mix that we have in the planter right now so what we did was we took our 12 row 7000 and uh, dad marked out the rows with it and he put down starter fertilizer with it that was left in the planter that we needed to get drained out anyway. So we figured we'd do that so we didn't have to put starter fertilizer in Ed's planter and uh, dirty it all up. So by doing this, it helped us get rid of what we had left over in the planter so when we put it away, we don't have to deal with it. So uh, we're going to go ahead and start planting here and we'll see how it works. All right, so Dad's going to start planting right there. He's just going to follow his marked out rows that he done with the big planter. We've got this planter at a depth of about two inches. I can definitely see the seed falling in the, in the trenches, seed furrows. Closing wheels are doing their job, closing it up.
planer's working real nice. Definitely a nice design. quiet too. So after we plant this, I think I'm going to throw the bean cups in it and uh, go plant a soybean food plot for my buddy Zach. Because this will be convenient to get to his place. I can just go through the woods since it's so narrow. It follows the tractor real nice. And I can carry it over there and get him some beans planted. Okay, now we're going to plant some crossways. Still doing a really nice job. Everything's closed up the way it should be. So when I said earlier in the video it needs to be on a like a 50 horse size tractor, it really needs to be on a tractor that can handle it weight wise. So I mean as long as you have a good size frame tractor you'll be fine with it. It don't necessarily have to be 50 horse. Like a WD Alice Chalmers would probably handle this just fine. Um, trying to think like dad strengths 424 would handle it just fine so those are all smaller tractors probably a john deere a with a three point would handle it just fine so just kind of give you some examples but you're not going to put it behind like my 1025r utility tractor that's just not going to handle it so it'd take a healthy size utility tractor to to be able to handle this planter So as you can see, we've got a bunch of volunteer sunflowers growing out here already, which is fine. We're just adding some more. The nice thing about that is them will grow, and then that'll be uh, another group that'll bloom before these. So you can never have enough flowers in a flower farm. So anyways, that'll be it for this. I'm going to start a whole nother video when I go to plant uh, Zach's soybeans. We'll just make this video of planting sunflowers in the, the flower farm. Claire's enjoying it out here in her little gator. Of course, running the sunflowers over.
little goober. So anyways, thank you for watching. I greatly appreciate it. And uh, if you're interested in this planter, just give Ed a call and uh, he'll uh, get with you on getting one. And uh, I'll just leave that up to between you and him. So thank you for watching. I greatly appreciate it. I'll see you all in the next one.